This has been a topic that a lot of fans have been speculating on, so I thought I'd give my two cents on the topic. So, Armored Pokemon. We finally get something that could combat Z-moves and overpowered Mega Evolutions. Z-moves and Mega Evolutions coming from the power of nature and the, our connection with Pokemon on a spiritual level, there's finally a man-made version of how we can attain power. So that it's not just about nature versus nature, it's about man versus nature. A little bit of evidence I saw was the steampunk setting where we see Score Bunny running up the cogs. Given that this is more of an industrialized steampunk type of setting, it might indicate that they have technology that's far beyond what we've seen before. This also isn't the first time we get to see armored Pokemon. We've seen it in the past, through Lucario in the Mystery of Mew, during ancient times when they had this great war in the Kalos region in Pokemon X and Y, where in ancient times they had a great war and they were also wearing armor. See a pattern here? When looking at some of the counter arguments, I would argue that having armored Pokemon would diminish the meaning of already armored Pokemon, like Escavalier, or Shelmet, or Glossiopod, or Como O, or even Mega Agron. Another problem I see with the whole armored Pokemon theory that a lot of fans are speculating on is that, okay, you get all the defenses up, but that only describes shield. It doesn't describe sword. So maybe it's not armor per se, but maybe it's armor and armaments. Rather than just the concept of being a defensive type of Pokemon, maybe it'll be more of like a mecha suit where you could have like Gatling guns and basically like the uh, armor Digivolve kind of thing. You know, basically Pokemon's turning into Digimon where in the Kalos region, we see Mega Evolution and the introduction of that. And Megas kind of reminded me of Digi Evolution back when X and Y was first announced. It makes sense. So I wouldn't be surprised with this whole armored Pokemon thing. If that's going to be the future of Pokemon, I'm totally down with it. You notice this in all forms of businesses, all walks of life. Through Taco Bell making their own breakfast burrito, to McDonald's copying it, to Burger King copying it, to kind of close the gap of potential revenue that could come in. Pokemon's still competing with Digimon, so I feel like this is Pokemon's next step towards competing with them and maybe phasing them out completely. Who knows? So I think that's going to do it for this video and my thoughts on armored Pokemon. In the next video, I want to talk about what I think the new game mechanic will be. What are your thoughts on armored Pokemon? I'd love to hear what you all have to say, and stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I cover more symbolism and what my personal theory is on the next game mechanic. So that's all I have to say. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Love you all. And take care. Catch them all. Do what you gotta do. Live your life. Read a book. You can wait for the next game. You got time. It's, it's gonna come out in maybe less than six months. I haven't counted. It'll, you'll be fine. All right, see you later.